The UDP in Belmapan avoided a head-to-head -head comparison with the PUP by deploying a motorcade. Optically, it gave a better effect. The motorcade stretching down George Price Boulevard, sounding all the bells and whistles. It left from John Saldiver's home and he was in one of the lead vehicles. A nice show, but in terms of raw numbers, probably a draw with the PUP. They want to know who hot. The public wants to know. Is the PUP hot? Is the UDP hot? It's hard to tell here in Belmopan because they had a procession and you all had a motorcade. But if I had to say man for man, on about even from what I have seen, um, explain to me what you all put into this day and the, the public message you all are hoping to communicate with your motorcade. Jules, you're talking about a heat check with Miss Burns? <laughs> um, I'm just telling you that we, the UDP, have put in the energy, um, not only today, but since April of 2023, we've been walking this city house to house, consulting with the residents and loving the conversation. Uh, we have gotten real with the people. Um, we hear their concerns and truly, if what we have heard is registered in that ballot box, we are going to see the change that Belmopan deserves. Saldiver led an impromptu march down the hall at the Civic Center. He may have missed the entrance, but he got the point across. Politics is noise, and the more, the better. And while Saldiver is front and center in this campaign, he kept back when it came time for the interview. Your um, standard bearer is not in the frame with you. Explain to me what sort of uh, linkage your campaign has with John Saldiver, the standard bearer for UDP in Belmont. Well, you know, John knows when to step aside and give the, the leadership over. Um, contrary to what a lot of people might say, John gave us the show today. And um, he's here. John Saldiva, he's here I'm with us. <laughs> uh, he's been an active part of the campaign. Um, I, ex I am excited to have him as our strategist for this campaign. The taint of his image stalking the UDP, yourself and UDP, as you all go about campaigning? Because in inevitably, you are inextricably linked to him. Jules, when people from outside of Belmopan talk about taint from Jan Saldiva, it means that they haven't been in Belmopan. You will remember that convention last February, and you will remember the healthy win that he uh, came out victorious in that convention. And so um, we know what the people are saying to us. In fact, sometimes I wish that I had John Saldiva with me every day on the campaign trail because there are people who tell me to my face, I want to see Mr. John. The UDP's success or failure in this election will be either a referendum on Saldiva's popularity or on the PUP, who people may choose to vote out after a fractious three-year term. A lot of people who study um, politics and study elections would tell you that there is a, a certain demographic of Belizeans who vote out instead of in. And the type of um, service we've had from the blue politicians in Belmopan have left a lot to be desired to say it nicely. And a statistical reality is that in 2021, the PUP got 68% of the vote here. It's the second highest in the country, only in Orange Walk that they get higher. Mm -hmm. You were the, the candidate for mayor at yes, that time. Sir. And that, that decisive mandate for the PUP council was to a large extent because of John Saldiva. Mm -hmm. How do you hope to overcome that in just three years to bring that 68% down to less than 50%? Jules, I'm a teacher by profession, and it's report card day, March 6th. Let's see what the people have to say. That's all I have to say on that matter. <laughs>